just do that. Another bit of money. We lost eight men, they lost 288. So I like to see it. We gained half a level. I'll take some more leadership and also some more chivalry. And we've become a good attacker. A good attack requires skilled warriors and superior numbers. Chivalry plus 30, leadership when attacking, aura size when attacking. That means his aura size when we're attacking is going to be obscene. And as long as we remain in friendly territory, we are also replenishing casualties. <laughs> now they are just plain dead. Absolutely. Alright, next up, Musulon. The lady and my right. That felt good. After all of the setbacks we've been suffering lately, I will fully admit, that felt good. Right, let's upgrade Marienburg to a town. And... Cinnabar Mining Pit, I guess. For more trade goods. Um, Nordland could build something. Don't know how much I really want to invest into you, though. Basically, just there making money. So sure. Uh, next up, let's go and see if anyone wants to confederate. Artois. Or actually, let's see if anyone can just trade. Start at the top. Bordelow. Let's hope we come to an accommodation. Carcassonne. The lady grants you her blessings. Maybe. And my aid. Yes! We got a legendary. Artois. The lady grants you safe passage no. in these lands. Baston. The laws of chivalry demand, I hear you. We'll accept a trade agreement for more monies. Marvellous. But nothing else. Alright, is there anyone else we can trade with? Outside of these realms. Yes, Kislev. Ooh, they could actually be a decent trade partner. Person to your arrival. Do not worry. I only poison my enemies. Disappointed you wouldn't accept that. But now we have now oh, we have no treaty, so relations wouldn't increase. Border princes. Are you gonna be a dick like in the Dwarven game? Nor yeah. are we foes. Stalia? Deliver your message. Alright, that's everyone. Um, Wood Elves. I'm I'm at war with you. The lady I don't... must weep to see her people brought so low. What do you want from us? I don't really want to fight you. You want to fight me though. Alright, fair enough. A green and pleasant land. Your wars. Yeah, that's just the peasant warning. We've secured Paravon and Carcassonne. Lovely. Now, let's have a look at how many generals we got out of this. First of all, the Fey Enchantress. Alright, Carcassonne does have a lot of troops. And this is the Wood Elf Realm. Oh god, that stupid bobbing. I'm curious what your skills are like. The Awakening of the Wood. Reduces enemy movement speed and causes magical damage. In an explosion. Life Bloom triggers when casting spell. Oh, it's a triggers when you do any spell casting. Even the simplest spells can bring forth the full bloom of renewal, reinvigorating and healing the broken and the bleeding. Interesting. That's that's a cool mechanic. Map wide range. So whenever she is casting spells, she is healing everyone on the map. Why the hell are you leveling up these skills when you should be leveling up your ridiculous magic? Come on. Chalice of potions plus 5% hit points. Recruitment rank for damsels plus three. Large strike area strong versus multiple. It's a bombardment. Yeah, I do remember a chalice being ridiculous from tabletop. 
cooldown reduction for Law of Life. Winds of Magic for the Familiar, which I also remember as a little frog, if I remember correctly. Ward save. Earth Blood. Replenishes hit points of combatants. Shield of Thorns, weapon damage, and missile resistance. Flesh to Stone, plus 60 armor. Regrowth. Good against armor, piercing damage, replenishes hit points of combatants, and also gives you physical resist. Strong versus 15 unit men or above the dwellers below. And then Arcane Conduit. Missile resistance for Grail Val units. Oh, that's instead of the uh, cavalry massive damage. Hmm. Yeah, okay, she's pretty good. I'm very disappointed that they've taken the kind of pointless abilities for her. Although it's only two levels into that, I guess. She is only a level six. Um, right. Jolene the Astute. I'm afraid I'm just going to have to get rid of you because I cannot afford that many peasants in my army. And Cassian is not one of them. Blessed Field thingy. Ah, here we go. Grail Champions. Oh, Grail Guardians, even. These are the hardcore anti-infantry with 120 armor. We're fighting against Wood Elves. Having that many footmen seems silly. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. Yes. There we go. Okay, Carcassonne. Let's have a look what you got for me. Level 5 already. Blimey. Smithy, Library, Grail Chapel... Die maker. Royal Barracks, you have a special building. The Tower of the Enchantress. Winds of Magic plus 20 for all forces. Hero Recruit for Damsels increased. Reduction of Vampiric and Chaos increased. Why have you not built this? Yeah, we'll need to do a little bit of uh, rejigging, I think, in their production lines. Paravon, we now have the full... No, don't do that. Uh, area. You definitely want the Grail Chapel. Because that allows you to get damsels and things. We definitely want the Tower of the Enchantress. Um, I feel like we kind of want to get rid of the Barracks line again. This is also on the southern flank, so we probably want to invest in some defences. Although I don't know who's down here. Oh, this is Astalia. Are we expecting problems with Border Princes? Probably not. So the only threat will be the Wood Elves. And if I can make friends with Wood Elves and stop them attacking me... Then that would be a good thing. Yeah, I definitely need to play as them one of these days. We're all s are we at war? No, we're not at war with Karaknon. Alright, now that we're getting quite a lot stronger, are you sure you guys don't want the Confederation? Welcome, friends. Let's hope we can Welcome to Bordlo, I just saved your ass. No. Alright. Um Quenel does not have any defences, just has the levelled up main base. And you've both got the level 4 production facility. I think that's a terrible plan. I'm going to just go ahead and delete Paravons. And we'll try and... No, no, sorry, not Paravon. Although, actually, that is something... That is duplicated, that is duplicated, that is duplicated. Seriously? Uh... Smithing allows Hippogriffs, Pegasus, and Pegasus Knights. Not a massive fan of them, so I'll probably just get rid of that. Although the level 1 Smithy would allow us to get the shielded units. You know what, we'll keep that. We'll get rid of that. Paravon is 
farming area. No, it's industry. Making friends with the elves is tricky. Or we could just squish them, though I suspect that will also be difficult. Especially as I'm at war with so many other people. Before I do anything, though, I'm going to take a short break because I want to go and get some more th to drink. So I will be back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So at 10 past 9 British Summer Time, we will resume the stream. Don't go anywhere. I will be back. I'm back again. Thank you very much for waiting. Uh, we are good to go now. Let's make sure the music's off. I do have a couple of things to say. First of all, thank you to the Master, Shinobi, Valka, Prototype, Circuit, Tabok, Tvai, Mekti, and Lady Burrito for the follows. I'm sorry that I missed a couple of those a little bit earlier on. It was probably during a battle when I am otherwise engaged. Right, so, our current issues to deal with are a few wars. So we are engaged against Musalon, but honestly we will take them out pretty quickly. And then the Wood Elves. Wood Elves are probably going to be the bigger problem, though we will be able to bring the full force of our might down to deal with this. It's just whether we can hold on to Cornell's and Castle Carcassonne in the meantime. Because we have had to get rid of a couple of the troops which the Fey Enchantress was using. Where are they more likely to come? I uh, probably should defend Carcassonne. Canels is less of a problem. Paravon is bordering them as well. In fact, Paravon was going to have control issue. Mostly from events. I was not expecting control and public order to be that big of an issue, but apparently it is. Um, I don't think there's much more I can do this turn, so I think we're just going to go ahead and end it. Oh, commandment. Right, that will definitely help. So we can get the Venerate the Lady here, which will reduce this down to just a 2. And then in uh, Carcassonne, we can basically do the same thing. Is this a negative because we just conquered this? No, it's literally just because of events, which is... Oh, right, so we do have two events, which are reducing it by... Minus 13 a turn. One of those goes away in a turn, the other one in five. So it's not going to be around forever. And then we should see some improvement in circumstances. Wasteland is also going down. That is going to be a bigger problem. Although we have just instability. What it might do is just stop taxing you for a time. Although you are responsible for quite a lot of the money. Uh, Nordland, you will be solid for a while. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to deal with it. What does Carcassonne's garrison look like? That is a good question. Carcassonne's garrison is... Where's Brianna? Brianna's over there. Oh, Canel's part of Paravon. Okay. Carcassonne's is Mounted Yeoman, Grail Knights, Peasant Bowmen, Spearmen at Arms, and Men at Arms. Grail Knights because they have the Grail Chapel. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Our provinces are worth so little money compared to many of these. Kind of frustrating. I've played two nations now that are terrible at making money. That's Norska and Bretonia. No, Bretonia, that might well be just because I've been focusing more on industry. Alright, so we didn't get attacked. Borderload declared we're on Redhorn. That's fine. Demolition is complete at the livery. Cool. Or well, the library, probably. You are ready to launch an assault on Musulon. Musulon, what kind of garrison do you have? A fairly hefty one. 
Yeah, there, there's a reason that you survive in the midst of Bretonia on your own. So I think we're just going to go ahead and siege you down. You're saying that I would win this one easily? Really? It does have walls. Um, we're just going to continue the siege. Because there are a couple of things which I've totally forgotten to do. First of all, I need to make sure that you have the best possible gear. Uh, I would say that the armor of Midsummer Sun is probably better. Fire resistance is not a big problem for you. And in terms of damage... Yeah, what you have right now is probably decent. Potion of foolhardiness. Yep, and then you're using the Royal Pegasus. That basically just means that you can move around more quickly. Fine. Smiley. Actually, no, let's go with the Cowbonga Kid. You are not currently using armor. Though I probably want to give this armor to the Fae Enchantress, who is not currently wearing any weapon. Strength, I guess. Arcane item, Forbidden Rod, which does greatly increase his power reserves, greatly improves power recharge. Oh, is that why I've not been struggling to cast much magic with you? Probably. Also, I know I have a billion hedge knights or hedge wizards, which apparently I can't give to you. We'll take the magic drop chance. Really? No hedge knight? Wizard, even? I know I have several spare. Huh. I guess it's only heroes that can use that. And then you have a squire, which is the magic item drop rate. Fair enough. And you have the war banner, which I do need to assign to somebody. I'm amazed that this is saying that I have such a good chance of victory. Because I could just launch an attack. How do you starve out on dead? That's a good point. How how would that work? That that wouldn't work. By starving out the necromancers that control them. Pretty sure that they are dead too. Actually, that would make them a lich. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Except the amount of supply that you could store for one guy, I'm pretty sure would be quite impressive. Can I give that to anyone? No, oh, I can give it to him. Interesting. Does that mean I can give it to the king? I can. Okay, the king now has 101 leadership. Awesome. And a portion of that he does give out, being the general. Um... Those guys will be able to just shoot down. The black knights will be in a... You know, let's do it. Let's give it a go. Because if I can just take Musalon out, then I can shift this army to the Wood Elf front even more quickly. And I would be totally okay with this. Half the time, necromancers are vampires. True. But they too have to feed. Do, 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 do. Let's get this fight on the way. So it is fortified, as I assumed. Um, we attack here, we're hit by two towers, possibly three. We attack here, we are definitely hit by three. This seems to be the weak point, or rather this in particular seems to be the weak point. So let's go ahead and grab our trebs. 
and stick you there. So what exactly happens when we gamble? Risk magic for more favourable wins. I guess that means the reserve. I'm perfectly happy with that reserve, so that's fine. Um, right, as usual, let's hide the Knigets away from the enemy. In the trees, so they can't be killed. There we are, hidden. Then we'll bring out the archers to do some damage. We'll have you guys hidden away because you will be the front line of my attack. We'll have you providing your leadership bonuses. I'll leave you at the front with those guys. Have you here. Don't need to move my king far forwards because his aura is massive now. It's really quite impressive. Um, I think we're just going to knock down the wall over here because we're just going to not be under fire by many of these towers at all, which is pretty good. Although that tower puts out a ton of damage. Definitely put their really squishy guys at the front here. Uh, Vargeists out of range, unfortunate. Where are they? Are you? Are you sallying out? That seems brave. Those Vargas are getting absolutely annihilated. And let's use the archers on the bats. Okay, that was reckless and probably quite stupid. <laughs> hey, Bussy. And Vagos, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Alright, so their flying units melted. Let's get back to shooting the real enemies. Let's shift the Pegasus guys back a bit. Let's pull you back a bit so you don't become a target. Although I actually kind of prefer the enemy shooting at the king than my regular units because he, being a single unit, is much harder to hit.
There's a reason I'm sending the knights on. It's because I want them in place. Now I'm going to try and fly him over the top, and maybe actually the Pegasus as well, to try and block anyone who's coming to try and block this gap. There they come. Alright, stop. And we have completely blocked them from getting to the breach in time. So I'm basically just going to say, charge. And you, charge. And you, fly in. Here come the Pegasus over the walls. Lovely jubbly. Let's get you guys. Actually, let's see if we can get the archers up on the wall like this. And then you lot come charging in as well. And we're in. We're in. GG. <laughs> oh, what would be even better is if the Enchantress is near and we can fire off the... that one. To debuff everything here. Like so. And then the Comet of Casanora. Oh no, actually even better than that would be Heroic Convergence which we can then cast on oh, it has to be someone in range never mind keep moving up oh the towers are shooting like catapults now great We just killed their vampire leader, or one of their leaders. I think it was the vampire. Fire at will and fire at whatever you can find. Uh, Enchantress, how are you doing? You in place? I wonder if this is a chain lightning occasion. Right there. Here come another bunch of cavalry. Vortex. <laughs> Surprisingly effective. Very nice, very nice. Questing Knights doing a bunch of damage there. And these are anti-infantry cavalry, so we should be doing... Ooh, crap, 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 run. I don't want you to die. Run away. Run, run. this again. Needs 11 magic. 12 seconds and then we should be able to do it. 9. Ah, archers are getting up on the wall. Excellent. That means that we can start shooting down into it. So you guys, can you? Yes, you can. <laughs> See if you can actually hit that. I'm not sure you'll be able to. You can certainly try. Yes, I do require magic. Now hurry up and recharge. One more. Oh, you can cast it. Right there. And now we're debuffing their entire army once again for everything melee. And if we get a little bit more magic back again, then I might try and do the heroic convergence. Although that's only one allied unit. It's not as strong as debuffing the entire enemy area. Which is just mental. Archers, are you in a position to fire? Oh, fire at will, yeah, yeah. By all means. By all means. Come on, guys. Let's get into position. Arrows are starting to come down from the walls above. Marvellous! Chosen. 
Don't think we really need to worry about leadership, but go ahead and boost it anyway. Foe Seeker, more strength and speed and vigor. Sure, why not? Archers are starting to shoot from above. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. No, you guys aren't actually fighting. Get in the fray! It's kind of your raison d'etre. No, you're still on the side. Uh, head over here. I'm going to see if we can get around the side and sneak. Sneaky sneak! Charge! Sneaky sneak charge! Into them. Reasonable. <laughs> Are we going to be able to cast anything else? Chain lightning is pretty freaking expensive. Thunderbolt would be very, very nice. Can we get one of those in? Need eight power. Power reserve is 17, so we should be able to. Just takes a while. One power every 23 seconds. Okay, winds of magic here are quite slow. Or we could wait a little bit longer and get that one. Units run out of ammunition. Go charge! And they've disintegrated. I do believe that that's going to be the end. No? Yes. There we go. Decisive victory! Huzzah! And we have destroyed Musulon. Excellent. They really did not have a good day against us. We lost 200. They lost 1,200. Wow, the king killed 233 on his own. That's insane. I haven't even been training him for combat. But he did kind of just hold that front line until the uh, Knight's Errant arrived. Got through the breach. And the Pegasus should have done better this time. 34 kills. What is it with you guys? You had like a front, lo front row time to go and kill stuff. Money. Good. Rank gain, level 15. Here comes the griffin. Hippogriff, even. Chivalry gained, loads of chivalry. So I can sack it for 12,000. I know I should be gaining chivalry, but that's just mental. We're doing it. 12 grand, I mean, come on.